lashes are in but if you notice i haven't done i i didn't line my lower lash reason being that we'll get to that soon you know the reason why so now this other lash my other eye i'm going to do something totally different just like what i did earlier i did one brow with some foundation the other with the concealer so now i've run this so now i'm going to go back in with my primer so now let's assume you don't have a brush or primer the tip of your finger can do the magic just take this primer is also from tara also tara eyeshadow primer most primers i'm using a white primer there are various types of primer there's a black primer there's a um there's a cream primer is it cream like more like yeah cream color yes there is but i use white primer because white makes it pop the only time you use a black primer is when you want to go for a smoky look that's when you use a black eyeshadow primer so now i'm i used my hand to take the, the primer and i'm going to apply it directly on my on my eyelid okay the reason why i really don't advise you using your hands is because it gets messy now i'm done this is it i have to wipe it yes so when i wipe it now that same hand that same finger i'm going to use it to blend it out a bit just keep tapping tapping basically you're not doing anything much you're just tapping 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 that's what you're doing okay so this is it i blended out the eyeshadow so now i'm going to go for a nude look okay and for my nude look i'll be using the morphe palette the, uh, i can't see the shade anymore but the morphe palette that's what i'll be using or better still should we just assume okay you don't have much palette you don't have really have much things okay in that case i know most of us own a bronzer if bronzer yes a bronzer so if you own a bronzer i'll be using my bronzer palette and this bronzer i'll be using is the um is the makeup revolution that's what i'll be using the makeup revolution golden sugar rose golden sugar to rose gold yes i've had this bronzer as you can see yes this one. so i'll be using it that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to go in for a nude look so what i'm going to do because it's um pigmented sorry it has shimmer and i don't want it to fall apart what i'm going to do i'm going to spray my rose water this is my rose water if you don't have a rose water you can use a setting spray i'm going to spray it on my brush so this is an eyeshadow brush a flat eyeshadow brush but this is the big one the one the orange the one i used for the orange was a small one this is the big one so i'll just spray it on it on both side yeah so this is after spraying so i go in with it wet to my eyeshadow not my eyeshadow now my bronzer remember i'm using my bronzer i'm going to use just two things now my bronzer and my powder like i said earlier i used the powder outside here so I'll just to let you know you can be versatile be be, be innovative don't say oh you don't have this thing it cannot work try mix color go to google check what color what color will give me this shade i mean so i would go in with the darkest which is um the gold color there this is what I'm, i hardly use it for my face so this is what i'm going in with okay so this is it so i just tap because it has shimmer you don't go in like a wiper like wipers you just tap it that's what i'm doing Ninety-nine percent of the time I do makeup and I want to go for a shimmer look. I actually use this. I actually use my bronzer. That's why I use. I mean, I usually have most. I don't really have a shimmer palette. It's mostly matte palettes I have. I don't really have a shimmer palette, so I use this most times. If you OPN, uh, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take that hot road and hop in. Uh. First impression. So, this is it basically, and I use just the um, 
just one shade of bronzer which is this one this dark one right here that's the one i used so now what i want to do because i know it's not really looking nice i'm going to go back in with that same powder that's the Maybelline powder in cacao that's what i'm going to go back in now and i'm going to go back in now with my blending brush because i want to blend out the ash line but now what i would do i won't go back in straight up i would first go in with my normal powder so dust off the SS as usual then now i'll blend it out monarch butterflies you should open up i'm trying to put your heart together found it broken up going up smoke smoking up make sure the so now I go back in with the dark, that's the Maybelline powder. Now I'll start from my outer eyelid here. Yeah? For you to get it properly, you, you would um, imagine you're drawing, what's this, um, less than. Yes, I think this is less than, yes, less than. So you draw the less than sign, that's like a V. Yes, that's what you're doing, V. So when I draw it, this is it. That's my V. So I'm going to now blend it. That's what I'll do now. Just blend it in space. Little by little. Now I'm taking this inside now. That's what I'm doing. With less product, basically. I'm taking it in with less product than my eye. I had more products to the outer. You OPN, pitch you one baby, yeah. We should be close to the friend. Yeah, so that's it. Now I clean my brush. I'm that same brush, I clean it, then I go into the inner corner of my eye to blend it out. And because I'm already seeing some product, I don't know, see, this way it looks like. Now you can see this is more nude is nice this is sharp arm. this is just calm and all yeah so this is it basically i'll go back in with my powder that's my skin tone blend out my my um blend the stuff out so it doesn't have any ash line it looks seamless nice and all yeah so now i've done this this is it so this is the end of it what did i use mind you i did not use any eyeshadow here what i used i used my bronzer and powder that was what i used if i were to use a if i were to use an, an, an eyeshadow look let's assume i want to use eyeshadow now I go into my Morphe palette. This is my Morphe palette. This is what it looks like. This is my Morphe palette. I go in it. I use um okay. I want to intensify it. I want to make this outer corner look a bit darker. I go in my black. Black is not something you just play with. You think it's easy to correct. You can correct other colors, but black. <laughs> Once you make a mistake with black, bad day, put it on here, you don't go. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I just the same brush, just go in like okay, a little bit black. But this is my black. I don't want to make any mistake. I don't want to put black where it's not supposed to be. So I just put it out here alone, just the outer part. That's what I'm doing now, in a circular motion. No, the black is not that. I don't want to go for a look that black will show. The black is not meant to be visible. But what we're supposed to do is just supposed to darken it. Because I used brown. Remember, the color of the powder I used earlier was brown. So now I'm going to use the black just to give it that look. So now this is my black. And now I'm going to go in with another brush. I can't use that black brush to blend. I'm going to another brush just to blend it out. Oh 
function. So this is pretty much it now. I, I just added that black a little bit and that's all. Remember when I was lining this eyeshadow, I used um, the liquid, um, I, I used the gel liner. But now I'm going to use a liquid liner. That's what I'm going to do. And a liquid liner is a bit tricky to use. It's not, like I said earlier, it's not something you use when you're in a rush. Don't use your liquid liner when you're in a rush. So this, so the liquid liner I'm using is from Maybelline. That's what I'm using. Open up, tell you how far, far, far. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Mind you, I'm not a liquid liner person. I really love my gel liner. Okay, so this is it. I didn't wing this one. I winged this, but as you know. I love wing liner. I'm going back with my wings. Yes, yeah, so I start the same technique I used here. That's what I'll be using here also. Open up. I've drawn it. Open up. Now I join it. Need to deep breathe hard and complications. Open up. Need to breathe, breathe. Okay, yeah, so I'm done. This is it. This is with a gel liner. This is with a liquid liner. And a liquid liner, you don't want to open your eye finish. You don't want to open your eye all the way out because it's going to stay. You have to let it dry. You get it. So now I'm going to go in the same thing with the mascara. So this is it. So I said earlier yeah, that if you guys noticed, I didn't line my lower lash because I want to show you guys, I want to explain something to you. I'm done with my eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow look. The one is um, bright, one is neutral, nude and all. But it's, it's, a, it's a shimmer color. So now, um, for my lower lash, if you know you have product in your lower lash and you won't be able to draw your liner well, Take your wipe and clean it out. Clean it out a bit. That's your lower lash. Clean it out a bit. The reason why I don't like a liquid liner. You can't use your liquid liner for your lower lash. No. What you have to use is your gel liner. It's either you use your gel liner or you use a cold pencil. You don't line your waterline with a liquid liner. It's either you use a gel liner or a cold pencil. For the cold pencil, what I mean by cold pencil, this is the Mabrook Extreme Soft Pencil. So this is it. So for this, you just have to, it's sharpened already. It's just a pencil, then you use it. There are various types of pencil out there that you can use, but this is Mabrook. Mabrook is blackest of black. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, okay, so that's it. I've lined it. I lined this eye with my co pencil. I'm going to line the other eye with my jaw liner. Now, see, imagine you want to use your liquid liner. It's just only a liquid liner you have. I wonder how you want to line it too. Hmm. I don't know how you want to line your lower lash, it's just a liquid liner you have. So most times advisable you get a cold pencil also for the under if you know you're not really good with gel liner. And that's why I love my gel liner. I can use my gel liner for both the upper eyelid and, the, and my lower eyelid. It works for both. Rather than me having to carry two different liners all the time. So I'm using the gel liner for the other one. Okay, so this is pretty much it. As you can see, the jaw liner came out sharper than the cold liner. The jaw liner is everything. Jaw liner is big. So this is it basically. So I can go to my office with this type of eyeshadow. While this one, I go out with friends and go to party with it. So now I'm done with my eyeshadow. I'm done with my liner, my mascara. And this is this is just a basic look. So I want to switch things up by using my false lashes. So my false lashes, I'm using a dual glue. It's very nice, very good. So I just apply little on my lash. Oh, sorry, not on my lash directly on the on the. Lashes, that's the false lashes I want to use. Open up. Tell you Okay, so this is it. Just apply a little on it. So you let it dry. You only use this when it's tacky. When it's tacky, it stays well. That's when it's as dried up, it stays better. 
Look for your lashes. You have a tweezer. You have a tweezer and a picker. Picker tweezer, anyone. So this one has this bristle that helps you hold your lash well and apply well. But I usually prefer using the picker. It's very easy for me. Or sometimes you can just use your hand. Place it. Yes, that's why I do most things when I'm in a hurry. That is it's just you want to look fresh and all. But if you know you're applying it for somebody, please use this. Don't go in poking people's eye at all. Use a picker. You can use any one of this. This is as small as easy. This helps you hold the lash roll and you pick. Okay, so this is the one with this edge. So this is what it does. It helps you hold your lash properly. Then you place when you want to place your lash, you place it above your um your your lashes as directly on your directly on your lash. See why I don't like this? I'm going to use my picker. Like it's too big for me to. I don't know if you guess whatever, whatever works for you. I prefer this one actually. Like I said, you could also use your hand. I'm done with it, but I'm going in my hand again. My fingertips basically. I use it to clip it both together. And that's pretty much it. Listen, I'm done with my lashes. And I go back and do it. Mind you, you don't want to apply too much lash glue. Yes, when you look up, they'll be seeing the white ish stuff there. So you don't want to apply too much like lash glue, just a little goes a long way. And I go on with this also. I'm done. Now the thick now I'm done with my eye area. I'm, I'm done with my shadow. I'm done with my liner. I'm done with my lashes. Now the tricky thing about um this kind of eyeshadow that's the glam one i can't just apply eyeshadow up and i won't apply it down you have to also apply it down but just leave it so what i go in with i go in with a brush this is the smudge brush it's called a smudger so the most prominent one which is the red i'm going to use it to smudge beneath but basically i won't use my red alone i'm going to be mixing the red and the orange I'll mix both those stuff and I use it to smudge it. Get ya, the doors open. Take that, I wrote it up in. The reason why this is usually done is because you don't want your eyeshadow to look like one um, effect that you just place. You know all these camera effects now? That beauty mode, it gives you eyelash, it gives you. You don't want it to look like that. That's why you smudge it, make it look real. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Okay, kisses.